we could walk in here and just see that there's an owl and say, check. And then we draw a big box around it. This is an owl habitat zone, right? A protected area for the owl. And that's sort of been the approach for a long time. The fuels people and the foresters and the scientists, we've all thought that there's this conflict. We can't have a win-win. We can't reduce fuels and save spotted owls. That by reducing fuels, we'll be damaging owl habitat. But what our work here is showing is actually that spotted owls benefit from fuels reduction. These GPS tags show us a lot more than just whether the owl is there or not. It shows us every place they've been over the past few months. Now we can say, actually, there's places in there that the owls aren't using, that maybe that's where we need to go and focus on reducing fuels. Because those are places we're very unlikely to uh, influence the owl's uh, space use. We're unlikely to have a negative impact on the bird. You mean my left hand or my right hand? Kind of where those tags are, right there. It might bite you, but it's okay. Now just hang on tight. Got them? Okay, you might flap, just hold on. Okay, now just kind of hold your hand, start to hold your hands out, maybe move him up a little bit. Mm -hmm. You can let him go. <laughs> there might be other areas that are hot spots of use, and those are places where maybe we'll tread a little more lightly. But it's not this big continuous block of monolithic, good owl habitat everywhere. But this is showing us with these fine scale view or zoomed in close up view of what the owl is doing over the course of the whole season. That's showing us that there's much more work that can be done within spotted owl protected areas than we previously thought. And those places where we can go in and do fuels reduction or other kinds of forest restoration are not only going to help the forest, but it's going to help the bird. <laughs>